Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Um, I was going to say that this country is getting weird. I saw, I was looking at this thing about LeBron James, you guys, you know about this whole Hong Kong, uh, China fiasco that you're not allowed to support the protesters in Hong Kong that want freedom. Do you guys know about that? The, the NBA, really? is, suck, the NBA yeah. is, is sucking China's uh, backside. Because oh, yeah. they, because because basketball is big, 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 like 350 million basketball players in China or something. So mostly, so the, I'm a nerd and I don't really follow sports ball. So mostly, I know about the people that are getting banned um, from video games. Yes, because yeah. of like you know coming out in support of the. Yeah, Hong what Kong is that? Protesters. Is that uh, something Blizzard? Yeah, Blizzard. Um, they do, I believe, Fortnite and maybe Overwatch. I don't know. I don't remember which thing the guy got banned from. But basically, uh, this kid was playing. He won a tournament, and it was on a live stream. And he came out in support of Hong Kong. No. And not only was his win taken away, and he was banned from the game for two years, but the two staff members on the live stream were also banned for not yeah. just like cutting the stream. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of craziness. Um, also, um, the not the Simpsons. Um, South Park. South Park, yeah. South Park erased from the internet <laughs> in China, Walter. Erased. If you go, if you're in China and you look for South Park right now, if anyone's watching us in China, which we, we're probably already erased. You better right. have your let's you be better honest. have your VPN thing going if you're watching in China. You know. Yeah, let's be honest about that. But yeah, because South Park did an episode about them, right? Yes. Yes, they yeah. did. Yeah. So they got a race. So so there's this basketball thing going on. I don't really keep up with uh, sports that much either, but everyone knows about LeBron James. So mm -hmm. I guess the the basket the NBA got into it because I think the San Antonio Spurs coach or something came out in support of uh, the protesters in Hong Kong, and China oh, got bad. really mad about that. Bad juju, Bona. Yeah. Bad juju. Bad juju. Yeah. So yeah. LeBron James, uh, you know came out and said that the coach doesn't know what he's talking about and he might well want to hey, shut let, me, up. let me show you lebron you know what it's, it's, lebron's about this man. yeah um, so you know, all of a sudden <laughs> so you know let's pay homage to the commies why yeah. you don't why you don't um you don't you know support freedom yeah um, very you know, interesting you, could, you know they can uh, kneel here you know and mm -hmm. not be appreciative of their uh life yeah bank playing a kid's game yeah. How um, much money do you have to have in the bank before you understand freedom? Um, I think he'd understand it better if he was working at Burger King. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Well, like yeah. a lot of basketball players yeah. end up at. Yeah. So, um, yeah. you know. Yeah. These guys, I mean, that was really interesting for me to see that. So that just came out in the news, I think, last night or something, Liberty Doll. Yeah, I, I saw a few headlines about it, but I did not get a chance to read up on yeah, it much to today. Dig into it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. These these basketball guys are like, "Hey, don't mess with up my China money." Oh well, yeah, well, I, mean, I ain't know. getting no Come Obama on. money. I want China money. Yeah, well, when they get done playing here, they can go over there and and be coaches and be yeah and be stars. Yeah, is there like look a big at, market for that? Oh, basketball's crazy over there. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Um, listen, yeah. I do not. I, I don't know. I'm, I don't want to say I would never visit China, but do you think oh. you really? Do you think dudes that look like me and LeBron's James? Well, maybe if you're really wealthy, you could be okay in China, to some extent. I you you're still not going to be able to say whatever you want. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, you're not going to do really well in China, people. I would so. love to go to China. I don't know if they. You have to apply for a visa to go to China. You just don't hop on the airplane and fly yeah. to China. Oh yeah. really? Well, I yeah, guess that it, makes it, sense. Yeah. yeah, they ha they have rules. Yes, mm -hmm. and don't steal anything. Don't don't commit oh. any crimes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, if you steal yeah. something, you'll end up in that Chinese prison. Yeah. Oh dear. No, don't even good. don't even look at someone sideways over there. Now, you, could <laughs> yeah. you imagine here here you're walking around, a basketball player in China like almost seven foot tall or something walking around in a crowd you're like a freaking empire state building walking around over there you know like, all the little chinese girls go oh look at you i love you long time you know it's like oh, come boy, on walter. <laughs> walter's going he's going for the record <laughs> okay razor right. jb says the guy that tweeted was the houston rocket owner oh okay, okay. uh 
Well, uh, I guess he, he's not going to be playing in China, I think, or, you know. His team won't be playing in China. Yeah, he says uh, if he wasn't thinking, that's one thing. But if he was and wanted to make a statement, that was the time. Look at it now. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, if it weren't for that, most people probably wouldn't even know what's happening in China. Yeah. Well. So. Yeah. Yeah. This. Uh, I'm. I'm. Uh, yeah. How much of America do you think is aware of what's going on in Hong Kong, for example? Do you think How much of America attention? even None? knows? None. Yeah. Like, I mean, I heard about the Hong Kong protests back when they first started, and then I didn't really hear anything uh, until maybe a couple weeks ago. And I was reading mm-hmm. articles, and it's like, oh, these protests have been going on for three months. And I'm like, oh, yeah. my, really? Yeah. Has it been three? I thought it was longer it, than that. No, it's been, I think, about three months. Okay. They started in um, July, I believe, in response to. Um, a bill being passed where people can be extradited back to China if they've committed mm-hmm. some kind of crime in Hong Kong or said something about, against mm-hmm. the Chinese government, even though Hong Kong yeah. is supposed to technically be a separate entity, sort uh, of. T- temporarily, uh, I mean, China's yeah. getting ready to claw that back here pretty soon. They don't yeah. want to. They don't want to destroy Hong Kong because Hong Kong make a lot of money. Right. Well, because yeah. Hong Kong is capitalist. <laughs> Hong yeah. Kong make a lot of money. You know. Yeah. <laughs> When I order patches, I have a feeling they go right through, or they're either being made in Hong Kong or right through Hong Kong, leaving the yeah. leaving the country. Hong so. Kong's like a weird kind of zone, you know. It's uh, like a weird zone in that part of the world. I mean, pretty much everything mm-hmm. else belongs to China, but that zone, right. yeah. Well, I mean, and it's interesting because for a while in like the libertarian community, there were a lot of people that were like, "Oh, like Hong Kong, your money goes farther there, and it's like this capitalist paradise." And there was a bunch mm-hmm. of people like, "Hey." All the libertarians should go to Hong Kong. But it's like, oh, <laughs> not now. Well, for sure. wait, wait till you libertarians get over there and start running your jaw. Yeah, right. Watch that. Exactly. Watch how. You, watch how your liberty goes there. So. Yeah. If you want America, if you want freedom, you you. Why are you going anywhere outside of America? So I understand visiting places, but freedom. Well, yeah, I mean, like, there's some people that kind of have the view of like you know taking a bunch of American money and, and going somewhere where it's worth a lot so you can sort of like mm. live as a king and kind of do whatever. Um, that's not my plan ever. I'm still gunning for South Carolina. Um, but okay. a lot of people have talked <laughs> about like going to like the Philippines. Oh. Or um, like, I know, I know. Yeah. There's a, like, Mexico. In, like, Chile or something. Yeah, Chile, yeah. Just yeah. remember when you go to Hong Kong, you go to the Philippines – as a as a white person or someone that di- looks different. Oh, you stick out like a sore thumb. Oh yeah, I mean that's like okay, and then you start walking around with with your money, your American money. Next thing you know, you're being tied up to a palm tree someplace in the jungle. <laughs> yeah, and so, they're holding you. They're holding you for <laughs> ransom. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Let me explain something to you. I'm from Guyana. I am not freaking going back there for. For, for looking for freedom and uh, <laughs> no. you know to stretch the American dollar over there. No. No, thank you. I've lived in Nigeria. I'm not going back over there for that either. Thank you very much. You know, um, I I will s- make sense. Yeah, I left. I left New York. I tried New Jersey. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we don't like even have pain. to talk about that. No, <laughs> it was actually worse than New York, I think, in a lot of ways. Um, and then I came to Florida for that. So unfortunately, there's people over here trying to mess up Florida now. This is what happens. This is what happens. Yeah. Just like how, you know, people come from other countries and they come to America. They leave the country they came from. I know about this. Went lived this in my life. They leave the country they, they came from. Communism, whatever horrible stuff going on over there. Come to America, then try to turn America into that place. Yeah. The same thing happens here in states. People leave New York, come oh, yeah. to Florida, try to make well, it New York. I, I think come. what it is when, when at least – I think at least what it is when people are coming from other countries, I think um, – you know, around here, at least there's a lot of immigrants from like Haiti and, you know, Cape Verde and some of these really horrible places. And I think what it comes down to is like they are so used to having to fight for resources like so much that they come here and expect the same thing. And then that's how you get, you know, all the fighting over things in the ghettos and the slums and things like that. It's just people still expecting resources to be so scarce that everything is like life or death fight, Mm -hmm. in my opinion. Okay, okay. Uh, I think I, I see where you're coming from. I think people are overly programmed, too. 
I think that's、mm. one of the problems because I see that with my parents, for example. Like they, I, I left Guyana when I was five, so I don't really know that much about it.、Um, I remember a lot of cotton fields or stuff like、mm. that.、Um, I do. I remember a little bit about Guyana, but the thing is, my parents grew up there. So you know, they.、Uh, my mom's not here, obviously, but they, my, both my parents. Don't want to touch guns, because that's something that they try to instill that fear of guns into you. That you have to be a special person to have that,、mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. So I think a lot of people that grow up outside of America, where those things exist, they're kind of programmed. Right. And when they come here, especially if they're older, they can't get rid of that. Maybe the younger people could do it, but they have a tough time getting rid of that.、Mm-hmm. You know? It's brainwashing, basically. Yeah, yeah. Serious brainwashing going on. In a lot of places, I was reading somewhere. I don't have that article pulled up in front of me, but I think the guy who like invented some kind of stun gun or runs a stun gun company is from England or something, and he was talking about how that's why he got into that because、uh, when you hear about America, he said that you just like everyone dies of guns. So he's trying to、yep. do something about America and guns by making the stun gun, which、uh, I I would like to whisper in his ear that stun guns kill a bunch of people. Well, and they're、um, like, for example, in Massachusetts, they're completely illegal.、Oh, probably a slingshot. Why? Well,、oh, actually, yes, they are. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything's illegal. I bet you pepper spray is illegal. It was、oh. until、uh, maybe three or four years ago when it was decriminalized. Oh, they decriminalized the pepper spray. <laughs> yes. And you、oh, have、wow. nunchucks there. Savages. No. Yes.、Those、no. Those are illegal too. I mean, you can、okay. get them at like those. Ghetto ass flea markets, but I, <laughs> you're not supposed to have them. Oh, okay. Because New York did criminalize nunchucks, and then they recently <laughs> de. You can now legally have <laughs> nunchucks in New York City. Wow. Yeah. Good luck、Better、trying watch to watch out for Jackie Chan. Yeah. Good luck <laughs> trying to fight off the robbers that have guns <laughs> with those nunchucks. Yeah, nunchucks.、Wow. Your only hope is if they laugh to death at you. <laughs> <laughs> 